Good morning, you can heal family. Welcome back to another reading of God's word. Today, we're gonna be reading Proverbs chapter 12. My name's called Sheena, and I'm thankful that you're joining me today. To learn, you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. The Lord approves of those who are good, but he condemns those who plan wickedness. Wickedness never brings stability, only the godly have deep roots. A worthy wife is her husband's joy and a crown. A shameful wife saps his strength. The plans of the godly are just, the advice of the wicked is treacherous. The words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush, but the words of the godly saves lives. The wicked perish and are gone, but the children of the godly stand firm. Everyone admires a person with good sense, but a warped mind is despised. It is better to be a nobody with a servant than to be self-important but have no food. The godly are concerned for the welfare of their animals, but even the kindness of the wicked is cruel. Hard work means prosperity. Only fools idle away their time. These are jealous of each other's loot while the godly bear their own fruit. The wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escape such trouble. People can get many good things by the words they say. The work of their hands also gives them many benefits. Fools think they need no advice, but the wise listen to others. A fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. Oh, that's good. Don't react to people. Don't let people push your buttons or gaslight you and cause you to step out of your character and who you know you are. Don't, don't get on their level. Stay calm. That's really good. Verse 17, an honest witness tells the truth. A false witness tells lies. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Truth stands the test of time. Lies are soon exposed. Deceit fills hearts that are plotting evil. Joy fills hearts that are planning peace. No real harm befalls the godly, but the wicked have their fill of trouble. The Lord hates those who don't keep their word, but he delights in those who do. That's a very simple scripture. Keep your word, keep your promises, and most importantly, keep your word to yourself and, and follow through with the things that, that you say you, you're going to do for yourself and the betterment of your life. Verse 23, wise people don't make a show of their knowledge, but fools broadcast their folly. Work hard and become a leader, be lazy and become a slave. Worry weighs a person down, an encouraging word cheers a person up. Well, that's good. Let's let's commit today to have a, having a word for someone that that will cheer them up. Just something simple, you know, compliment something about them, you know, make sure it's sincere and, and cheer someone up today. I like that. Verse 26, the godly give good advice to their friends. The wicked lead them astray. Lazy people don't even cook the game they catch, but the diligent make use of everything they find. The way of the godly leads to life. Their path does not lead to death. So that was a good proverb, a lot of little good nuggets in there about how to conduct yourself today. So stay calm is what stands out and, and cheer someone up today with your words. Amen. Thanks for listening. We'll continue on. Always remember, true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. Bye for now and thanks again for joining me.